And first tonight, the Something in the Water Festival is coming to the National Mall in just about a month. But with tickets going for hundreds of dollars, several local groups are pushing to host a competing event. Fox 5's Paris Jones is live in Northwest with those details. Paris? Yeah, that's right. I spoke to one of the organizers for that competing festival. Now, she says being a D.C. native, she was excited to see that Pharrell was bringing the Something in the Water Festival here to the district. But she has a few concerns, one of them being affordability. When they released how much the tickets cost, <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. Where do they think that the people who actually... Um, Celebrate Juneteenth, where can they pay for a $300 ticket, a $400 ticket, a $500 ticket? Now, that was Nene Taylor, the co-founder of Harriet's Wildest Dreams. Now, she says what's most concerning to her is that the city is co-sponsoring the event, and one of the days of the festival falls on June 19th, when many in the area will be celebrating Juneteenth. Of course, uh, that's the day where uh, many African Americans commemorate the end of slavery here in the United States. Now, she says after discussing it with other organizations in the area, she decided to have another festival, not only for those looking to celebrate Juneteenth, but those who may not have been able to afford the tickets to the Something in the Water Festival. I do believe that in my heart. I do believe that this event is not for us. It's for gentrifiers. It's for people to come in from out, you know, from different places and, and enjoy D.C., which is fine, but not on Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a day that forever, forever, not even other states, before Juneteenth became a holiday, D.C. always celebrated Juneteenth. Now, Taylor says they're considering calling it Chocolate City Jubilee, and they'll have free food, drinks, and entertainment. A big question is who will be performing at this competing festival. She says it'll consist of a lot of go-go bands and also all local talent from here in the D.C. area. Now, she's also told me that they've applied to have it at the Freedom Plaza and also a few other park locations throughout the city. They're still waiting on an answer as far as that goes. Now, tonight we have also reached out to both the Something in the Water Festival organizers and Mayor Bowser's office for a comment, but we have not heard back yet. Back to you.